Hey, good Monday morning to you. I'm Pastor Harold Taves up with the sun. We're in Isaiah 8 and chapter or chapter 8 and verse number 1 for this Monday morning, the 26th of August. Then the Lord said to me, make a large signboard and clearly write this name on it. Meir Shalal Hashbaz. I asked Uriah the priest and Zechariah son of Jebrika, both known as honest men, to witness my doing this. Then I slept with my wife, and she became pregnant, and gave birth to a son. And the Lord said, Call him Meher Shalah Hashbaz. For before this child is old enough to, know, to say Papa or Mama, the king of Assyria will carry away both the abundance of Damascus and the riches of Samaria. Then the Lord spoke to me again and said, My care for the people of Judah is like the gently flowing waters of Shiloh. But they have rejected me. They are rejoicing over what will happen to King Rezin and King Pekah. Therefore, the Lord will overwhelm them with a mighty flood with, from the Euphrates River, the king of Assyria, in all his glory. This flood will overflow all its channels and sweep into Judah until it's chin deep. It will spread its wings, submerging your land from one end to another. O Emmanuel, huddle together your nations and be terrified. Listen, all you distant lands. Prepare for battle, but you will be crushed. Yes, prepare for battle, but you will be crushed. Call your councils of war, but they will be worthless. Develop your strategies, but they will not succeed, for God is with us. So we're talking again the northern kingdoms as they're helping, uh, as they're being helped out by Assyria. This, and uh, he's talking about from Damascus to Samaria that his new son uh, will, before he's old enough to say, Papa or Mama, the king of Assyria will be carried away, and the abundance of Damascus and Samaria will be gone. So he's basically saying that the persecution from the north uh, will be small to in comparison to be waning soon, uh, but he also gives them a, a, uh, a warning here about what will happen if they continue in Judah to turn away from God. And he's saying basically nothing can keep you from the Lord. If he wants uh, to crush you, he'll crush you. Uh, it doesn't matter if you go to your councils of war. and it'd be Everything's worthless. Strategy's worthless. Nothing can succeed. How do we take this and to learn uh, from our perspective today? Uh, just basically the, the, the things that God deems will happen with God, with our our desire to help uh, or listen uh, his plans will succeed regardless of our efforts to assist or to desist like to to aid or to embed God will provide and God will prevail so he's telling them to watch what will happen even though uh, he's talking to Isaiah and trying to talk to persuade Judah and Jerusalem and all of Judea uh, to basically return back to God. So returning back to God is a revival that we have to do in our own life and continuously refill ourselves with the Holy Spirit. I had one pastor one time tell me we're, we're like a sieve. It's like we're always leaking and we always need a refill. So we always go back to the source through prayer and scripture. I'm going to pray with you and we'll let you go for this Monday morning. Father God, thank you for the ability to come out here and to start the day for so many people. I just ask you to give them blessings for out their day. I ask you to be the hedge of protection around them so they can be successful in following your steps for today. I ask you to be this sick and grieving as always. We lift them up to you, Lord. I ask you to be with our country and our church and guide us in the direction you want us to go. I ask these in Jesus' name. Amen. For that, have a great Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.